and welcome on Watches TV and we have a really nice report for you guys today talking about a new watch of course but we will also come back on a manufacturer Chopin set up 25 years ago in the little village town of Fleurier in the Val de Travers. But first let's discover the LUC Quattro Spirit 25, 25 naturally in relation to this 25th anniversary as this timepiece exemplifies pretty everything which is mastered by them under this same roof. We're presenting the Luc Quattro Spirit 25. It is based on our famous uh, Luc Quattro movement with four barrels and an incredible power reserve of eight days. Elle a été construite autour de, de notre mouvement, de notre premier mouvement 100% conçu et fabriqué chez Chopard. And the movement is combined with just one hand showing you the minutes and a, a little window here at six o'clock showing you the hour, which every hour will jump to the next figure. On a un dispositif de correction rapide qui peut aller dans les deux sens. En fait, on peut tourner la couronne dans les deux sens. L'aiguille va toujours avancer. L'utilisateur n'a pas besoin de savoir dans quel sens il faut aller. En avant, en arrière, l'aiguille va toujours en avant. A watch that also features, very importantly, an enamel, a handmade enamel dial which uh, is made in-house. C'est pour nous aussi l'adjonction d'un savoir-faire supplémentaire qui est celui de, bah, du métier d'art des mailleurs. Euh, ce cadran a été réalisé par notre artisan qui est ici sur place. It combines a number of uh, very important craftsmen who worked on this watch. Uh, a beautifully finished movement. C'est une pièce certifiée Poinçon de Genève. C'est une boîte en or rose 5N, euh, avec donc, donc de l'or euh, éthique. Um, this was one of my dreams that I had. And I'm, I'm glad that we could present it now for the 25th anniversary of this manufacture. Uh, this watch really shows the simplicity, the beauty and simplicity of what LUC is like. I personally really like this watch for its purity and elegance and just to the point. And as a little side note, I really think that LUC watches are slightly underrated when you think at the quality you're getting for your buck. And this is even more valid regarding second-hand options. So I get that uh, there's always a question of personal taste, the design that talk to you or not. But in terms of watchmaking seriousness, well, LUC watches are really well made with uh, great finishing and interesting technical developments. Okay, that was my little thought of the moment. Uh, so let's now discover more in details how this manufacturer came into being and how it has developed over the past 25 years. Chopin, when we started, was already fully independent when it came to uh, case making, watch case making, uh, and everything uh, around the movement. And the only thing we were really missing was to relaunch the production of movements, go back to the origins of Chopin, um, which was founded 1860 in Saint-Villiers, and uh, built movements from scratch and um, and this was a, a very ambitious plan. I quickly decided that I wouldn't want to, to build a manufacture in a, what you would call a crowded place. I saw Fleury a bit as a, as a very interesting piece of ground where you could plant new trees and uh, new fields and therefore we decided to to build a manufacture from scratch. And from A to Z, and we started with a blank sheet of paper. On est parti pour ainsi dire de, de rien. Hein. Alors c'est clair qu'on nous a mis des moyens à disposition, mais on n'a pas acheté de bureau technique, on n'a pas euh, racheté de société. Hein. Quand je suis arrivé le 1er septembre 1995, on était, euh, si je ne me trompe pas, 7 ou 8. On nous a donné de, de, de bons moyens dès le départ, puisqu'on s'était équipé déjà de, de machines à commande numérique multi-axe. Euh, machine à pointer, euh, les, tout, tout ce qui était équipement pour faire les traitements thermiques, équipement informatique, euh, équipement horloger, euh, de sorte à ce que vraiment ce départ puisse se faire dans les meilleures conditions possibles. We had a very nice and a very competent small 
nucleus of uh, people. The best way to define it, it was a start-up within a family company. Nos périodes d'innovation sont nées dans, 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 au, au cours de ces, euh, de ces euh, discussions qu'on avait un peu à bâton rompu euh, autour d'un café. Des fois, on était encore ici jusqu'à 22 h le soir pour, euh, pour essayer de, de tenir certains objectifs, hein, même si effectivement, on ne nous a pas véritablement mis la pression, mais c'est nous-mêmes qui nous la mettions parce qu'on avait envie de, de faire en sorte que ça marche. Et slowly but surely, we were able to integrate competencies and craftsmanship which we didn't have in the beginning, in particular the uh, decoration of movements. Today we have quite a large team uh, who could slowly but surely learn this trade. Le plus important, c'était d'avoir une bonne base sur laquelle on pouvait ajouter des modules additionnels. Donc si on n'avait pas un bon moteur dès le départ, ça aurait été beaucoup plus difficile de faire le travail dans le sens inverse. Raison pour laquelle on a vraiment axé nos efforts là-dessus. This became the basis of uh, everything we, we were able to do afterwards. You could safely say that it was a kind of a revolution because we combined uh, you know, a double uh, barrel stacked uh, on top of each other with a micro rotor and all of this in a very small and flat dimension. At one point we added a perpetual calendar which is unique But at the same time, we went into a hand-wound movement, which is the quattro. On s'est retrouvé autour de la table. On était quatre euh, là autour. Puis on dit mais euh, je dis qu'est-ce qu'on fait après ce, ce 196 là Il faut qu'on pense un peu à la suite. Ah bah, on, on pourrait euh, multiplier le nombre de barrières. Je dis mais comment ça multiplier le nombre de barrières bah, On en a mis deux. On va pouvoir en mettre deux de plus. Mais on les met où Puis bah on enlève la masse oscillante. On en met deux de plus. Et puis ça fera un calibre à quatre barrières. Puis en, en, en plaisantant, c'est comme ça qu'est né ce calibre. On, on, on l'a en fait concrétisé de cette, de cette manière-là. And from the Quattro on, we went into tourbillon. Uh, and we uh, presented the famous Quattro tourbillon, which is the first chronometer certified um, tourbillon uh, on the market, with an eight-day power reserve. This led to another uh, important milestone which was uh, a super complication called all in one because we we combined the perpetual calendar with a quattro with the four barrels and for the 10th anniversary we uh, presented our own in-house chronograph a classical beautiful integrated chronograph which we then also presented hand wound or automatic And another milestone, of course, I'm wearing here on my wrist is the full strike, which uh, we presented for the 20th anniversary of the manufacture, which um, I think uh, became a legend. La manufacture s'est vraiment développée ici, mais il y a eu également une antenne qui a été déportée à Genève dans, dans laquelle on assemble en fait les, les mouvements euh, avec poinçons de Genève, dont les full strike, entre autres. Des brevets propres à Chopard en termes d'innovation, il y en a 22, à, si je ne me, si me trompe pas, à ce jour. Hein. Des barrières multiples, des systèmes de mise à l'heure innovants. Je ne sais pas si on peut appeler ça un développement exponentiel, pour ainsi dire, mais vraiment, ça a été des, vraiment des années galopantes. We constantly improved our quality standards. Together with uh, our friend uh, Michel Parmigiani, we, we decided to add another certification which would be Qualité Fleurier. We said Qualité Fleurier uh, will combine a precision element, an element of finishing, which is quite unique uh, in one certification. Uh, and that's why uh, Chopin also invests uh, a lot of time and, and money in, in teaching young people in the different trades. Because we need to keep this craftsmanship uh, going and we need people here to be proud of being craftsmen. One important step was the introduction of uh, ethical gold that we, we now use uh, 100% in, in all our watches and jewelry pieces. The resonance we got and the feedback we get from our clients is so positive 
So it's very encouraging. Going forward, I think we will continue to always try to be right on top of things in terms of technology, in terms of craftsmanship, and in terms of emotion uh, as a team. I think it's so important to, to keep this um, initial um, manufacturer spirit up. And, uh, and that's why personally I spent as much time as I can uh, coming here to Fleurier to, to, uh, to make sure that we don't lose this, uh, this initial drive. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. The very best to you and viva watchmaking!